Hello and welcome to this interesting question on definite integration. So we have two integrations over here, two definite integrations over here and we have to find the ratio of them. The question says something like this. So this is I1 integration which is 0 to 1 e power x upon 1 plus x and I2 is this integration we have to find whether we can express I2 in terms of I1 or vice versa so let's see the solution uh, I'm just using the highlighter just a minute <coughs> so the solution goes like this now this uh, solution would also highlight some properties of definite integrations uh, first is we can always say so if we have integration as a function of x and if a and b are the limit lower and the higher limit so we can always replace x by a plus b minus x so in the first one I'm trying to use the properties so as to bring about the equivalence in the two integrands so if I use this uh, in the first one so I can replace x by 1 minus x so i1 integration becomes what it becomes 0 to 1 e raised to power 1 minus x upon this is 2 minus x dx right which effectively I can write as because e is constant so I can take it outside this is 0 to 1 0 to 1 and e power minus x actually becomes this is this will come in the denominator e power x into this is 2 minus x now can we do a similar thing over here but we'll first have to reduce this integration because the powers are in cubes so here what we can do over here is we can put x cube is equal to t so what do I get I get 3 x square dx should be equal to dt now putting the substitution I get i2 as this would be I'm just putting the value 1 by 3 0 to 1 this is in place of x square dx I can write dt by 3 which I have written upon this becomes e power t into 2 minus t now clearly with a change of variables uh, is permitted because the value actually does not depend upon the variable it depends upon the limits the limit of its uh, this integration is 0 to 1 so it does not matter whether I write t or x so clearly I can say i2 would be equal to 1 third 1 by 3 0 to 1 this is dx upon e power x into 2 minus x right so clearly we can see if we divide this so what do I get I'll get i1 upon i2 I'll get uh, i1 upon i2 this integration value would come out to be 3 times e hopefully you must have understood uh, this solution thanks for watching this video